Hey everybody, just finishing up my Amiga Tower project here. My last part, well, one of the last parts I was looking for anyway, came today. It's this cable right here. And this cable supposedly lets you use a regular IBM floppy drive and turns it into an Amiga 880K drive. You can use it, um, if you have any single density, I guess, but it's pretty much only 1.44, so you have to make sure the floppy disk has the other square uh, covered so it acts like a regular uh, 880k drive even though it's a 1.44 IBM drive but in any case uh, I got the external version um, you know use one of the cheap 25 pin and hacked off a couple of pins on it so you'll plug this into the external port of your Amiga and you get uh, the IBM uh, floppy part here you can see he kind of redid the cable to make it uh, Amiga compatible here and Supposedly, you can still attach a GoTech here, and he does have a little chip and some uh, integrated circuits done on this part here in this nice little glue area here. But that uh, wasn't expensive. Um, he even has the two uh, power connectors here for your floppies on this cable. He does make an internal one where it's just one cable, uh, one connector, I should say. So it would go to the internal header of your Amiga, anything but... Um, the last Amiga 1200s that are made by SCOM, obviously. Uh, but this cable here, I really wanted it to uh, be able to switch between internal and external because my tower does have that ability here on the front. So I'm going to install this right now in my Amiga here. And I have a regular uh, IBM floppy drive, which is a little hard to see in the dark with the light I have right now. But let's just uh, put it in and, and see what we get. Okay, I have the uh, floppy drive here connected uh, to the cable. Uh, seems like it goes in fairly well, fairly simple. It's all connected there. And I can actually hear the Amiga floppy click. And I have it currently sent to Workbench 3.1. And I have a regular game here. It's a copy. I do have the original, don't worry, but this is just a copy. And I'm going to put it into the IBM drive here. A little tricky with one hand. Get, stay. There we go. And it does appear to be reading it. And there it is. So this cable does, in fact, work. Drive's chumming away. And there's no question. I see a disc with copy protection on it, loading using a regular IBM disk drive. That's a fantastic thing that this little cable does work because Amiga drives, as you know, are getting expensive and hard to come by where floppy drives for the IBM, now they're a dime a dozen, literally, but the cable does work. So anyone looking for this, um, I'm gonna try and put a link to uh, this gentleman uh, who created the cable, he's on eBay. That's where I got it from, but I'm going to see if he has another link more direct. But uh, this little device does work. That's really cool. So now I'm going to mount this floppy drive in the proper way. And I'm pretty happy. It wasn't expensive at all. I think it cost me with shipping like 20 bucks uh, US. Um, so the only thing left now, uh, hopefully, is when they come out with the Amiga 500 uh, Vampire 2. I replace the uh, the Kipler here with that, and this tower should be kick ass. Although it is kind of kick ass anyway. So everyone, uh, thanks for watching.